Good afternoon, I'm Lee Anderson. The annual point in time count came out today, giving a look at who's homeless in Central Oregon. The number of veterans without a place to live has nearly doubled. Blake Mayfield dives deeper into the numbers, Blake. The point in time count is a report of sheltered and unsheltered people experiencing homelessness on a single night. This year's survey took place in a 24 hour period on January 24th. There's a lot of work being done in the community to connect veterans with resources and specific um, projects like the Veterans Village to help them. Ben's mayor reacts to the findings of the latest point in time count from the Homeless Leadership Coalition. The number of homeless veterans from January 2022 to January 2023 went from 41 to 71. Though it's not as high as 2021, when 89 veterans were counted, the sharp increase in percentage is concerning. It makes some sense to see that when we're in a time where pandemic era eviction preventions and rent assistance has gone away and we still have very high housing prices in Bend, that veterans and other people are going to be um, pushed out of housing. According to the mayor, 25% of people living in Bend live with a rent burden, meaning they pay 50% or more of their income to just housing. Warm Springs had the highest increases in the region, with Warm Springs numbers spiking by more than 200%. The total number of people experiencing homelessness in Bend is 1,012, up almost 25% compared to last year. In Redmond, that number is up over 105%. This is a pressing problem for our community, and it's something that we need leaders at every level of government to step up on, and that's what the city is going to continue to do. According to the count, 28% more people overall are living on the streets of Central Oregon this year compared to 2022. One positive sign is the number of homeless youth under 18 fell from 223 in 2022 to 196 this year. Blake Mayfield, News Channel 21.